do it. Hey, I'm making mini quiches for tomorrow because I'm going to a picnic with my friends. Yeah, and I realized today when I was at work that I actually have like quite a few nice things happening this week. And I thought to myself, let's let's film. Let's film the week. Welcome to my first ever weekly vlog. It's not weekly. It's not going to happen every week. Welcome to my first week in my life. Okay. <laughs> So I'm making my little quiches in like, in these standard stuff things because I saw people do it on the internet and um, I just thought it looked like a good idea because it's a picnic so I've got to like transport them. So I was just thinking ease of transport, you know, a little boat. A boat quiche. I've never actually eaten these before even in, I've never had these even as their intended form as a taco. So I don't know, hopefully it works but people rave about them in the pyramid scheme, group I mean. So they must be great. Uh, I've done them. Let me see if I can pick this up. Mini little boat quiches. Can you believe? I bought all these trays today and it's a lot of trays for someone who can't afford to buy that many. I did technically need some trays. Did I need all of them? No. no. They are pink and they were half price. So <laughs> hopefully they go well in the oven. I don't really she know how long to cook them for. None of them spilled. Why are they so uneven? Like look at that. That looks perfectly straight. And they damn well won't. Anyway, they're in now. Yeah, that's it. That's all the excitement for today. And the mini quiches for the picnic tomorrow and I'm really excited. So I'm just gonna like cut the shit and like maybe I'll show you them when they're done. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna show you them at the picnic tomorrow. I'll see you at the picnic tomorrow. So I've just finished work. Clearly not at a picnic. I forgot to film the picnic. I forgot to film it. I forgot to take this camera. I only took my phone and um, I was too busy filming TikToks. I filmed a TikTok instead. I can't do more than one social media thing at one time, apparently. It's all I can muster. So I guess you just have to watch my TikTok to see the quiches. Cause they were all eaten. They were delicious. Spoiler, they were great. Yeah, the picnic was really cute. Maybe I'll see if I can like use some of the clips from that. Hi guys, yesterday me and the gals went for a little Galentine's Day picnic in the botanic gardens in the city. We all made a little plate and look how cute our little setup is with our pillows and stuff. I made the mini quiches, Kieran made scones and Larice made cupcakes. There's little heart shaped scones, look how cute they are. I am so sorry about the <laughs> voiceover TikTok. I just, I'd never done one before. I did like one more after. They're both awful. I, I hated doing it. You can tell I sound like a robot. I'm so sorry that you have to listen to this. <laughs> Enjoy the TikTok. Um, of course, there was a cheeky bottle of non-alcoholic wine. That's for legal reasons, of course. And look how cute they are. And then Kylie came from work and she brought cheese and it was so cute. And then some ducks came to eat the crumbs that we kind of like we were flinging everywhere. Um, and I just thought they were super cute little faces. Thank you for my cheese, Larice. And then Tilly came. She was so cute. She surprised us. Um, we had a lush time. And then it was time to say goodbye. And that was Galentine's Day. Yeah, so that was nice. And when I got home, the um, speeding fine that I got the week before was waiting for me in the mailbox, which is really sweet and nice because I thought it was a 60 zone. So I was going the most sensible 59 of your whole life. And it turns out it was a 50 zone. It's fine, it, like I've done the wrong thing, but I'm still upset about it because I thought I was doing the right thing. And I drove because I don't feel like drinking. I'm gonna save money on Uber because I can't really afford it right now because I've been on placements. I haven't been able to work very much. And instead of saving money, I ended up spending $270 on the speeding fine that I didn't think I was gonna get because I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought I was doing the right thing. There's the highs and lows of life. You know what I mean? Like you have a beautiful picnic with your friends. You come home to a speeding fine. It's like the ebbs and flows. Anyway. Mick's coming over, he's gonna stay over tonight because we're going to the beach tomorrow. And we're gonna go to some op shops on the way there and we'll have a nice evening and I will remember to film some of tomorrow. Cute. Work was good, day was good, speeding fine. Mm. Speeding fine, not as good. You win some, you lose some. I don't have anything else to add. All right, cool, good day, so it's Tuesday.
we were pretty much going up to this cave to have a squeeze, but we went barefoot and we forgot that the sand gets fucking hot. I don't know how I forgot that. I've lived in Australia my whole life. But basically, we couldn't get any closer. So there you go. We could have walked back for our thongs, but it's too fucking far. Hello. So I'm home from the beach. I don't think I got burnt. I think... I think it's okay. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick, like, op shop haul. Like, it was on the way to Rapid Bay. There's Normanville, and Normanville has a couple of cute little op shop things, if you will. So I got this, like, vase. Lovely. $8, as you can see. This cookbook. I just have a thing about women's weekly cookbooks. Like, I just think they're sick. A dollar. You joking. Like, like, not heaps of pictures, and it's just... I don't know why, they just make me laugh. Oh, I love them. Chicken and duck. You just, fruit in season. It's telling me when everything's in season. I just, sauces. Oh my God, yum. Hors d'oeuvres. Desserts, biscuits. A dollar for, a dollar for a hard cover. You're joking. Um, I also just signed up, found this really cool rock at the beach and it, um, it's pink. You just can't really tell. It just doesn't help. Anyway, and oh, in the sun it was like shiny. Is this helping? It's not. It's kind of pink and glittery, semi glittery. Um, you just have to take my word for it. Welcome. At this pot, I need it for my couple of new plants, and um, I just, it just liked it. Anyway, the man at the store like wrapped all these so cute, like so sweet. So I got this little Western Australian collapsible cup for a dollar and I was like what I was so confused and it like it's a cup now nah, you drink from it I guess to me it looks like a little egg cup and maybe that's what it meant it's so cute a little cut do you need your portable egg cup to take your portable so you have a hard-boiled egg somewhere on the road you're always ready for it in Western Australia specifically if anyone knows more about this let me know, because surely that's a... I don't know. I'm going to look into that. She did not look into it. Um, I've got this Perth plate. It's got all little bits of Perth-ish stuff on there, and I just thought it was right cute as well. Plates. Oh, that was a dollar as well. And I guess I really like plates, because I also got this jam dish and spoon. Fantastic. Like, a spoon and a dish to put me jam in. I need one of those. I don't. But it has my two favourite flowers in there. It's poppy and cornflower. And um, yeah, they're my two favourites. So I thought, fuck it, it's a sign. I will get it. And I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I have it. Anyway, that's my mini haul. Um, I'm going to go to Woolworths now. And I'm going to get my wraps for my dinner. Because I love them. <laughs> and then I'm probably going to... Oh, I'm going to shower. All right, sorry everyone. Shower. Then I'm going to put my towels on to wash. Then I'm gonna go to Woolworths and get my dinner because Coles across the road shut. So I'm gonna drive. I've get in my car now, drive to the supermarket. Bloody outrage. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Wednesday, my dudes. That's fucking Wednesday for you. I didn't get burnt. Oh, if I did, I'll let you know. It's good because I've got like a like a massage day spa tomorrow with my friend Amelia. So I was really concerned about getting burnt today because I don't think a massage after being burnt would feel very good. Anyway, I'm just blabbering on. Do you know that I get Invisalign on next month? I'm so excited. So excited to end this brief update. I did get burnt, so uh, it's my shoulders, it's my back, and my titties. Oh, the upper bust. But I'm modest, so I won't show. I don't know how to... I don't know how to do this. I don't know if... I don't know how well that's showing. But I got burnt, so, but it's not horrendous. And I grow this, so hopefully it's fine. All right, cool. There's your update. Good night. I should put some of this in the fridge. Happy Thursday. I just got a, uh, a voicemail and I'm just going to play it for you. I filed a case under your name. So before this matter goes to federal claim courthouse, can you federal get arrested? Federal court. Time arrested. I repeat, press one to know about your legal case. My legal Thank case? You. You're joking. Somebody tells me that that's not real. But if I end up in jail, I thought it was fake. I thought it was a scam email. Hi, it's Thursday. I'm about to go to the gym. That's why I look like this. I always look like this, so. Mm. It's so hot today. I'm so sweaty already. I'm, anyway, whatever, I'm going to the gym. Hello. I'm making those little quiches again. So I'll show you them this time. On the way home from the gym, I went past my real estate. They always have little signs out the front and they say like motivational things. And today was, today is your day. I just thought that was really nice. The mini quiches are in the oven. Do you want to say, do 
Do I see them when it goes? Of course you do. Of course you do, love. Hi. And when you open it, it kind of gets a bit steamy. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Um. I mean, I'm gonna take them out. Um, here's the quiches. Uh, one's already in the fridge, and one's already inside my body. There's six left, and I'm just gonna put them in the freezer so they're ready to go. That's that's it. That's the end of my story about quiches. Never shower in a minute. Amelia will be over soon. We're gonna go for a day spa. I keep like forgetting that it's happening. It's happening. I'm going to a day spa. This would never happen. I've never done this before, and I'm 30, and I'm going to a day spa. I've got a voucher for my birthday. So I feel so lucky to be going to a day spa. Do you know what I mean? Like, should I be feeling like this? Should I feel this lucky about going to a day spa? I'm going to. I don't care. Nothing's gonna ruin my excitement for me. I feel special. I feel really special. Only a shower. Because I'm not gonna make anyone rub down a, a sweaty body that's just been to the gym. That's just fucking rude. That's rude. If you don't shower before you go to get massages, no, no. Like, just be mindful. Just be mindful. Only a shower. Hi, it's Friday. It's Friday, like 10 to 8 at night. <laughs> Sorry the lighting's bad, but I'm running late, even though I've had all day. I figured now would be the best time to do it. Get ready with me. Except that's not what it is at all. It's just poor planning, if you will. Um, my friend just texted me that they're leaving to pick me up now, so. I think I might do this later because I've grossly underestimated what I can do. Or you can watch me get ready the fastest you've ever seen anyone get ready. Just, it'll be really bad content. Really bad. Um, I'm gonna try. Yesterday I went to the day spa. It was fucking lush. Got a whole scrub down, massage. It was good. I should have wet this. I met Amelia there. And then we came back here afterwards. We went to 400 Grady for dinner, which is Italian. And we got a pizza and split it because I wish I could have a little bit of everything every time, but it's hard. But at least with certain people, you can like split stuff. So we got it started on a pizza we both would like. And we got a pasta each and we got arancini's <laughs> entree um, because we're a fuck. Because we were treating ourselves. And then we just walk back to mine because it's just down the road. And we watched UK Drag Race because I've just started watching season two, finally. And um, she actually never seen, she's never seen any of it before, which is disgusting, I know. I think she quite liked it, to be fair. I'm enjoying it. I haven't watched any of whatever the current American season is. I feel like it's 13 or 14, but I'll just watch UK first. Uh, anyway, so that was basically yesterday. We watched some Drag Race and then we raced down to get ice cream before it shut. And that was nice too, because we just, we're really treating ourselves, oops. And then today I just like woke up with a headache, didn't want to get out of bed at all, which if you know me quite well, you know that's fairly rare. Like I'll always want to get up and do some sort of errand, some sort of something. I just sort of said, if you go to the gym, you can lay in bed all day you want to, and then you've got dinner at 8.30. Oh, that's the wrong color. And then I kind of, I kind of had a headache when I woke up and it kind of just got worse. So I had some Nurofen at some point and I was waiting for the headache to go away before I went and it just took fucking forever. So I ended up getting to the gym at like one. So I could have just stayed in my bed all day, watched TV and had a like productive Productive relax do you know what I mean but instead I had like unproductive relax because I didn't do anything still anyway but I didn't like watch any of my favorite shows or anything oh, fuck I'm in a rush <laughs> ignore that so I may as well have just done fuck all anyway what was the point that'll teach me I think that they're here to pick me up now um, we're going to get deep dish pizza I'm really excited I'm gonna tell you the rest later okay that's it I've like gone and done it in seven minutes Boom. Mm -hmm. Take that. All right, cool. I'm just gonna put my shoes and socks on, put my jewelry on, go and enjoy my dinner. I'll try and take some videos of it. I've never had deep dish pizza before. I'm really excited. It's their opening night. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for them to open for so long. Okay, I'll see you soon. I just feel like I'm so, so hot, so sweaty, so full. It was so good. I did a little video on my phone. I'll pop that in. Yeah, deep dish is like real good. I mean, obviously I've not had traditional from Chicago, or whatever, but service is really nice. Everyone was really nice. Food was really good. I assume that it's like what normal deep dish is, but I don't know, but it was so good. I don't really remember what I said when I was getting ready, but it's been a good day. I guess it wasn't that good. It ended well. And I feel like that's the main thing. You can have a bad morning.
What am I saying? One of my neighbors just went past and my windows like open so they would have seen me just like and now I said this and anyway it's probably good I was probably gonna start talking too emotionally that's it I gonna shower and I'm gonna watch more RuPaul's Drag Race UK